What is going on everyone? This is Alex Orchiez. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience in doing the 75 hard program. So I'm currently on day 41 of 75 hard and honestly this has been the absolute most intense program that I have ever done in my life. In case you haven't heard of 75 hard, it is a mental toughness program developed by Andy Frisella, which consists of doing six critical tasks every day for a span of 75 days. Here are all six of the items on the list. Follow a diet. This can be the diet of your choice. It must be a structured plan designed with a physical improvement in mind. You must complete two 45 minute workouts. One of those workouts must be outdoors. Absolutely no alcohol or cheat meals. Take a progress picture every day. Drink one gallon of water. Read 10 pages of a book. Audiobooks do not count. For this list, there is absolutely no substitution or compromises. You're not allowed to do a one and a half hour long workout and count it as both workouts. You cannot do two indoor workouts in one day. You cannot listen to an audiobook and call it reading or skip out in taking a progress photo for any of the 75 days. If you fail in doing any of the six items from the list, you must start over on day one. If you accidentally forget to finish your gallon of water on day 74, this means you have to restart on day one. I've already failed on day six of my first attempt by having a few cocktails at a concert, but I restarted and have been on track ever since. I must say, those cocktails were 100% not worth it. If I could go back and just not have had those, I would in a heartbeat, since I essentially lost six days of progress. Either way, I'm looking at those six days as kind of a warm up to start the real thing, which is what I'm on now. So I'll just start off by saying that this program is a daily mental battle. It's not all that much of a workout or fitness program, but I think it's a discipline and willpower development program. There are a bunch of simple things on this list that if you don't make into habits, you'll probably just forget to do them like the progress photo or drinking the gallon of water. I'll be breaking down each of the items on this list with my thoughts and observations, starting with the diet. For my diet, it is very simple. I'm sticking to a caloric intake of 2000 calories per day. Of those 2000 daily calories, I'm eating mainly protein, veggies, and fruits. I've cut carbs and sugars almost entirely, but regardless, I can still eat them as long as my caloric intake is not higher than 2000 calories per day. This is a major caloric deficit for me and has already proven results in my goals of losing weight and building muscle mass. At day 41, I'm down about 18.4 pounds from my starting weight of 192.4 pounds. I'm getting closer and closer to my goal of 155 pounds. A typical day of this diet for me includes egg whites, eggs, turkey breasts, onions, peppers, fruit, acai bowls, yogurt, protein bars, or protein shakes for breakfast. For lunch and dinner, I typically eat a combination of steak, chicken, fish, turkey, or other sort of protein with either broccoli, cauliflower rice, asparagus, peppers, sweet potato fries, or miracle noodles. Miracle noodles are these very low calorie noodles or rice that is created from an Asian root vegetable known as konjac. Konjac is known to have an extremely low calorie content since it retains so much water. In my opinion, it's the secret to weight loss that many have not discovered yet. I can cook a large plate of these noodles with chicken and it would only have 250 calories, yet the amount of food can be split into two different servings. The mass of these miracle noodles or rice is so large that it tricks you into thinking that you're full when you've actually only eaten five or 10 calories total. I cannot recommend this enough if you're trying to reach a caloric deficit for weight loss. Another huge tip that I have for counting calories is buying a small kitchen scale so you can weigh out your food. Not only will this bring you knowledge on size and portion control, but it will help you to visualize how much food you should be eating 
and what the caloric values are of what you typically eat. Also, a quick tip for not getting extra dishes dirty, let's say you have a Tupperware filled with chicken breast that you're about to eat, you can put the filled Tupperware on top of the scale, hit tear so it goes to zero ounces, remove the chicken breast that you'll be eating, it will then say negative, followed by however much that chicken breast you just grabbed weighs, be it negative three ounce or a thick negative nine ounce chicken breast. This has saved me tons of dirty dishes and I do this type of reverse measurement most of the time. As far as my two 45 minute workouts go, I've been biking first thing in the morning and then working out in the afternoon after work. This lines up with another one of my goals from 2023, which is to bike a total of 500 miles. I attempted to do this last year, but suffered a few different injuries and was unable to attain it. But this time around, I'm taking the steps required to not get injured and be able to reach my goal. 75 hard has helped a ton due to the requirement of the outside workout. I'm currently at 97% of the 500 mile goal with 486 miles biked as of July, 2023. The second workout I do is typically a weightlifting session or a cardio session on either the treadmill, stationary bike, walking outside, or playing a bit of basketball. Sometimes if I do have plans in the afternoon, I'd swap the second workout from between 5 and 8 p.m. to an earlier workout between 11 and 2 p.m. Of course, this depends on my day to day. If I happen to have a production, I have to adjust my workouts and sometimes I'll need to go late at night to hit the second one after the production. A rule of thumb for me, because it rains so much in South Florida during the summer, is to get the first outdoor workout out of the way so the second one is a bit easier to adapt into my schedule. These two workouts result in you having to wash a ton of clothes and shower at least twice a day. So be ready for that. Now looking at number three, no alcohol or cheat meals. Being in South Florida and having a very social lifestyle only means that this is one of the toughest parts of the program. I failed the first time because of this, but after I restarted and decided that I would be completing 75 hard, it's been a lot easier for me to simply say no. It's really all about willpower and just telling yourself that you don't need to have a drink to have fun. My uncle recently did a similar program and cut alcohol for 90 days. What he told me was that in social settings, no one really cares if you drink or not. It's just your inner voice telling yourself that you should be drinking in social settings because that's what we've been programmed to do. It's a tough mental battle to not have even one beer when you're all together with a crew or going out to dinner, but in the end, it's these choices that are gonna make you tougher in the long run. You also don't have to eat like crap when you go out to dinner. You don't have to order pizza. You don't have to order the ribs. You don't have to order the cheesecake. How about you order some grilled chicken and veggies, a salad, or a, a steak with sweet potato fries, and then just ask how many ounces the steak is so you can count your calories. Although it is a bit harder to go out in social settings, you can still do so while doing this program. When there's a will, there's a way. For the progress photos, they have just become an everyday habit for me. I personally like this part of the program because although it's a mindset program, the physical side effects will be obvious as the days go by. At day 41, I can already see a major change in my body since I have already lost about 18 pounds. I think it's good to see yourself every day in the mirror, see your photo, become used to your new body, love it, and be able to compare and make a short video or slideshow of the changes that you've been working so hard for. You can also look at the picture and break down what you need to work on more, be it getting rid of your love handles or working on building a bit more shoulder muscles. This gives you awareness and then allows you to adjust your workout regimen based on your goals. My least favorite part of this program has been having to drink a gallon of water per day. For this task, I purchased a half gallon jug that I use to refill my regular bottles. I know that when I drink two full half gallon jugs, I'm done for the day. I try to drink half a gallon before 12 p.m. and then another half a gallon before 5 p.m. I think it's a great thing to do and helps so much with losing weight, keeping you hydrated, 
and your body running smoothly. But I just cannot stand having to get up to use the restroom 15 times per day. As a creative and editor, when you're in the middle of creating something and your train of thought is chugging along at full force, it's a huge obstacle to have to get up and move away from your project to use the restroom. Regardless, the benefits of this outweigh the downsides, so I get why Andy decided to throw this into the program. It's also a simple thing that most people would overlook or have trouble with. A tip for this is to start drinking water early so you're not running to the restroom multiple times in the middle of the night. And finally, the last task is to read 10 pages of a non-fiction self-help book that will make you a better person. For me, I think this is something that should definitely be a part of this program and is extremely beneficial to all individuals, no matter the circumstance. It shouldn't only be part of this program, but this is something that everyone in the world should be doing to get ahead. I recently started reading more often about four years ago, but this has definitely pushed me to read more on a daily basis. On top of the 10 pages per day, I still like to listen to podcasts and audiobooks during workouts or bike rides or while driving to continue expanding my mind. Remember, your brain is a muscle and you need to continue to work it out whenever you can. So far, I have read The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, The Artist's Journey by Stephen Pressfield, and I just started Relentless by Tim Grover. I highly recommend reading The Power of Habit because it explains how habits work in your brain, how they are formed, how to break them, and how to start new ones. The book talks about habit loops, and just by doing this program and being on day 41, I've already formed new habits. One of these habits is to wake up at 5.30 a.m., get dressed, go biking or weightlifting, then upon returning, reading my 10 pages for the day, taking my morning vitamins, showering, and then starting my day. This habit loop has helped me be more disciplined and productive when it comes to running my business. I notice myself performing at a much higher level than I was previously performing since I now have structure throughout my day. Not that I didn't have it before, but it just helps to have these set list of things you must accomplish before starting your day. It's checking off boxes of small wins throughout the day that release endorphins and a satisfaction in yourself that allow you to stay on track for your larger goals and mission. The Artist's Journey was also a great read, but geared more towards artists. It explains how we as artists need to shuttle back and forth from our super conscious to create whatever it is that we create, be it writing, painting, music, filmmaking, etc. It also says how we need to create the conditions for ourselves to develop and bloom into who we are as artists, but also we need to just show up. We cannot wait around for the perfect time or environment, but instead create it and seize the moment. One concept that stuck out from the artist's journey was that a small acorn has the potential to be a gigantic oak tree. The power is simply within itself, but it needs to be planted, watered, given sunlight, etc. for it to become a tree. We all have this potential. It's just a matter of what we do with our time and environment that dictates our futures. All in all, these two were great reads, but I'm extremely excited about reading Relentless by Tim Grover. This is the one book that Andy recommends when starting the program, so I'm looking forward to reading this in the coming days. So why am I doing this program? The reason why I'm doing this is because I've always struggled with my weight, eating habits, and lived a lifestyle I was not that proud of. I drink a lot of alcohol and eat like crap on the weekends. I was out of shape and lacked discipline. I'm also getting married at the end of this year, so I'd like to prep for this mentally and physically by establishing these root fundamentals. As a business owner, content creator, photographer, and filmmaker, it's also important for me to be a healthy weight, not only for image, but for the psychological and physical aspects of it as well. On most productions, I end up having to move and set up heavy camera equipment such as tripods, lights, light stands, grip gear, cameras, lenses, cases, etc. to be able to do my job. This is why building muscle is important to me as well. How did I find this program? 
I stumbled upon this program while scrolling on Instagram and running into the video of a man named Bishoy Kella who completed 75 hard a few times to do a full 160 pound transformation. This was incredibly inspiring and I just had to look into the program. After reading about it, I knew I had to give it a go. One of my friends also completed 75 hard a few months ago, so we've been in touch talking about the program, general recommendations, and tips on completing it successfully. He's currently doing the program between Sunday and Thursday to maintain his lifestyle. So we've been chatting on and off about meals, books, workouts, etc. It's great to have someone to relate to that understands what the program is like and can give you insights on how they did it. Overall, my thoughts so far on this program are that it's extremely intense and will definitely build character and grit into anyone who decides to complete it. Not only will it transform you physically, but it will also teach you discipline, expand your mind, teach you to say no to certain things, put up boundaries, and just take full control of your life. If you're looking to start doing the program, check out the links in the description. You should start by going to the andyfrasella.com link and then move on to the podcast. If you enjoyed this video or if it brought you any value, Please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more filmmaking, photography, travel, and lifestyle content. Thanks for watching.